What's up guys? Here we go into uh, this week's line drill and it's going to be more focused on punches than usual. Uh, usually there's a heavy emphasis on the pendulum step and uh, things like that nature. Uh, but we're just going to be focusing on punches mostly today. Still crossing the line, transitioning our weight and changing positions, right? That's everything that we're trying to accomplish with these, these drills. We're going to add punches to it too though. So we're going to go ahead and start. Get four minutes and 25 seconds on the clock because that's how long the song I chose is. <clears throat> so here we go. And what we're going to start, we're going to start with the rolls here, right? Just transitioning our weight from one side. Here's the center line. It's not a real thing in boxing. Don't worry about it. Uh, the line is different. But we're just here. And now we're going to add a right hand to them, right? And as we transition our weight and we get our weight from one side of our body to the other, we throw that punch. Now, we're going to throw two, one, two, two, one, two. And we're just going to be throwing punches at the end of our line here. Okay? And just keep going. Two, one, two, two, one, two, two, one, two, two, one, two, two, one, two. two, one, two. And we're rolling in between. Roll. Doesn't have to be a big roll. It could be a slow roll. A light roll could be a heavy roll, but just allow your weight to sink across the other side. Okay, now we're going to move into the hooks. What we want to do, bring our shoulder to our knee, okay, and get our head off the center line, and again, our head to our knee, okay? So now we're going to throw these shots. Cross the line, cross the line. Boom. Now we're gonna add punches to this. Boom, 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 boom. And allow that motion to get a little bigger as we throw these punches and punch in combination. I gotta focus. <laughs> One, two, hook, one, two, hook, one, two, hook, one, two. Okay, we're gonna go back to the right hands and roll. Now, another expert level tip here. A lot of people think that when you punch, you want to breathe out every single time. But that's a training tool. You don't have to breathe out. How loud am I yelling because of my music? <laughs> you don't have to yell at or breathe out every single time. Okay? It's a training tool designed to push you into the position to help you establish it. But you don't actually have to breathe that way. And it actually helps you sometimes, most of the time, to actually breathe in when you're training your drills. So I want you to throw some punches here and breathe in through the course of the entire punch. No exhaling, no breathing out. And go through a couple of weight transitions while you do it. also going to help iron out some of our technical problems as if you only learn to breathe out and yell and do stupid stuff go bop 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 every time you throw a punch or every time someone hits the mitts with you you're never going to really develop the kind of power in your core that you need to really drive through your targets because when you breathe out like that you're going to be tightening up your core tightening up your muscles tightening up your kinetic chain and that's going to mean that you're going to be prevented from transferring your weight. All right, nine seconds. Um, from transferring your weight into that position. Um, so practice some of these exercises. Practice some of these exercises. Um, 
not just breathing out, right? Really hard when you breathe, but with a careful and a constant breathe in pattern as you go through your punches, right? And not just always, right? Trying to blast out of the positions and um, locking up your body mechanics. And as you get better at that breathing exercise, it's just going to become the norm. Um, and you'll be able to engage your core when your opponent punches you. Uh, but you'll be able to also read your opponent's punches much better too. Um, as you're not struggling for oxygen and as you're not breaking your pattern of breathing simply to punch. And you can stay more calm in the ring as you maintain control of your breathing patterns, right? So uh, practice not, <laughs> you know, trying to get all that out of there. Tell yourself, I've trained hard enough. I've worked hard enough. My coordination is good enough that I don't need to breathe like that anymore to throw my punches. And then trust yourself. Practice some of your punches without that, that mechanic, that very basic entry-level uh, tool, um, and uh, see how it changes your technique, okay? Um, all right, that's all for today's uh, line drill. Now, on Patreon, we're going to be watching George Foreman versus Evander Holyfield. We're going to be doing another workout, um, another line drill, uh, inspired by whatever we see in that film study. Um, so if you'd like to join along, uh, check out my Patreon. Today's the first day of the month. It's 20 bucks to sign up, and then you have the whole month before you're billed again. Uh, and it's only $20 a month. And again, we do full film studies of nearly every, every fight that happens. Um, full breakdowns, talking about all their technical flaws, their technical superiorities, all the things that they do well, that they don't do well, that they can improve on, um, why this punch happened and that punch happened. And we look at patterns and we then we take all that information, everything that we've gathered, and I, I show you how to do it too. I show you how to learn to do those things. I show you how to train so that you can fight like those guys. So, um, if you're interested, again, it's uh, Fouts Boxing Patreon. Uh, the link is in the description. Um, 20 bucks a month, 20 bucks to sign up. And uh, film studies of you and your own boxing, right? Also, if you have um, training that you want to send in, if you have heavy bag work, you're like, oh man, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing here? Shadow boxing work. Um, I can figure out the technical errors in your technique, figure them out in your fighting style, and figure out ways to help you get to the next level. Um, all the way up until, you know, whatever level it is that you want to compete.